Okay, so they say which set of ordered pairs represents a function. Now, if you see ordered pairs, all they're referring to are points, right? Points are ordered pairs. And in order for your points to represent a function, what has to happen? Well, what has to happen is that every x value has to map to only one y value. So if you have this situation like right here, where 2 goes to 4 and 2 goes to 5. In other words, the input is 2 and the output is 4. And then with the same input, 2, we get a different output. When that happens, it's not a function. We're trying to find the function. Here, 2 is the answer, you notice, because we have three different x values. It never repeats. I mean, sure, they all map to the same y value, but that's okay. Right, you can have 4, 5, and 6 all mapping to 0. That's, that's each of these x values only has one result. You could not have, let's say, 4, if you're looking at this problem in particular, excuse me, map to 0 and then map to some num other number as well. Each x value must only map to one y value. So in these kinds of problems, if you notice that the x values aren't repeating, then it's almost, it's a pretty likely indicator that that is the function. If you look at the other ones, you notice here 6 repeats with two different y values, so it's not a function. Here, what number repeats? Well, 0 does. And again, it gives us two different values, 4 and 5. Um, and when that happens, you have one input giving two different values. It's not a function. So the only reasonable choice now is 2. And that's 6, 0, 5, 0, 4, 0. All right, thanks.